One year ago, on 30th October 2019, news buzz broke that at least two dozen human rights defenders in India, including activists, academics, journalists, and lawyers, were targeted using a highly sophisticated spyware called Pegasus, which was developed by Israel-based NSO Group. Pegasus targeted users by exploiting a vulnerability in WhatsApp, and it could gain complete access to a device by getting the user to click on a link or through a missed call. The revelations led to widespread outrage, especially since the targets of surveillance were human rights defenders, and the NSO group claims that it only sold Pegasus to vetted government entities. While the central government has evasively denied any involvement with the Pegasus hack, there has been no independent investigation into the matter. After the Pegasus hack became a subject of discussion in Parliament, the Minister of Electronics and Information Technology stated that certain intended to audit WhatsApp systems and it had also sent a notice to the NSO group. However, there have been no further updates from certain about the status of this investigation. It should be noted that certain had been alerted by WhatsApp about this security problem in May 2019, but officials at certain claim that they did not recognize the seriousness of the issue because the communication was in pure technical jargon. At the state level, a panel was also established by the Chhattisgarh government on 11 November 2019 to investigate the Pegasus hack since at least four of the victims belong to Chhattisgarh. However, as per media reports, the panel concluded its investigation in January 2020 and it did not find any evidence of police officials purchasing the Pegasus spyware. The report submitted by the panel to the Chhattisgarh government has not been made publicly available and the victims of the Pegasus hack were also not involved in the investigation process of the panel. Since a large number of the victims targeted belong to Chhattisgarh and Maharashtra, we had also urged these state governments to initiate independent investigations, which must include testimonies from the victims of the Pegasus hack and experts in the field of data privacy and cybersecurity. The only official body which has provided a hearing to the victims of the Pegasus hack so far is the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Information Technology, which decided to examine the issue after a closely contested vote on 28 November 2019. Immediately prior to this, on 19 November 2019, 17 victims of the Pegasus hack had also written to the Parliamentary Standing Committee requesting it to investigate whether government officials had purchased and deployed Pegasus in India. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Home Affairs had also agreed to discuss the issue and we wrote to both these committees to clarify the legal position on use of spyware in India and highlighted some broader cybersecurity related concerns which must be addressed. Despite multiple government and parliamentary bodies examining the Pegasus hack, a whole year has passed and we still do not know who was responsible for this egregious violation of the privacy of human rights defenders in the country. While investigations have been stalled in India, the lawsuit filed by WhatsApp against the NSO group in California has witnessed some progress. Most recently, the NSO group filed an appeal before the Ninth Circuit claiming that WhatsApp's lawsuit could not succeed since the NSO group enjoyed derivative foreign sovereign immunity by virtue of its customers being foreign government entities. On this anniversary of the Pegasus hack revelations, we reiterate our support for the human rights defenders who were subjected to this grossly illegal act of surveillance and urge government and parliamentary bodies to bolster efforts in their investigations. Since there is a reasonable apprehension that government actors were involved in the Pegasus hack, investigative processes must adhere to the highest standards of independence and transparency. Most importantly, testimonies from actual victims and experts in data privacy and cybersecurity must be heard by bodies examining the Pegasus hack to ensure the real harm suffered and the risk of future occurrences of such incidents are properly addressed.